Hello everybody. So imagine this. One day out of the blue, your friend messages you all of a sudden. And they say, hey, my neighbor down the street wheeled this little motorcycle down to the curb. Um, would you be interested in it? I'm like, well, I don't really feel like buying a motorcycle right now, but um, I'll consider it. And they're like, no, they wheeled it out there and they put free on it. I'm like, well, like my old buddy used to say, if it's free, it's for me. Um, snatch that bad boy up and I'll come over and pick it up. So my buddy, they uh, snatched it up for me, took it home. I got it here now. We're gonna take a look at it, see if we can't get this thing to run. So here's the bike right here. This is a 1990 Honda XR80R. And uh, of course, like most things that are free, it's usually a catch. And the catch with this is, Ta da it's locked up. Big surprise. But I'm gonna give you a little history lesson while we're here. This bike here, this is a 1990 Honda XR80R. I think the bike that I learned how to ride on was a 1981 Honda XR80. Great bikes, pretty reliable, pretty hard to kill. I don't know why this one's locked up quite yet. I'm assuming either there was a kid, they had a pin in first gear and they floated the valves right into their piston and that's probably why it's locked up. Or, or, there's a few things about this bike that I've been looking at. So obviously it sat outside for a bit, but there's some things that tell me that this is kind of a, maybe a low mile bike. Um, like the fenders, these are the original fenders on it and they're not cracked and beat up. It's got the original levers on it, they're not split and broken. If you look at some of the paint on the bike, I'm assuming it's a low mile bike and I'm pretty sure the back tire on it is actually the original back tire from 1990. Is it dry rotty? Yes, but is it the original? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, overall, I kind of think this bike sat for a really, really long time, and then somebody got it and started tearing into it to try and get unstuck, and they were unsuccessful, and they just let the bike sit for more time, you know, just let it go. So let's go ahead, take a walk around, and see what's here, what's not here, and I'll tell you why I think that. So I'll show you. Here's why I think this bike sat most of its life. If you look at this back tire, look at the paint mark on it. That's a, that's original factory paint mark, I'm pretty sure. It's all dry rotted, sun checked, but you look at how much tread's used. And then I believe Honda's like to use a Dunlop. That's a Dunlop, let's see if uh, the front tire matches, shall we? Look at this front tire. This is Dunlop. Maybe it is not the original tire. I would assume this would be a Dunlop as well. Nope. Not a Dunlop. I don't know. Maybe it's not the original rear tire. I just look around like the hubs. They don't look beat up. Paint's not super scratched and chipped. Down here, you'd think this would be all scraped up. You know, linkage has not been. I mean, there is boot rub on the case. This side I couldn't tell yet because here's the other half of it. This case is missing on this side. So I'm assuming what was happening is a guy tried unsticking this motor. Maybe put a wrench on this and tried to turn it. Went unstick. And uh, so he started tearing it apart because you can see these bolts were undone. Um, around here, there's a bolt down here that's undone. That one's still there. Even we're taking out the shock bolt for whatever reason. So we have everything in theory to make this bike run. Um, I haven't really looked at the wiring too much. This is all just set up here. Okay, interesting. I don't see anywhere on this bike for a CDI box. Uh, I'm gonna assume everything's in place because we do have a kill switch here. Everything seems to be hooked up. Um, I'm assuming if there is a CDI box or something like that on here, it's probably behind here, but realistically we probably have a points ignition and here I'm not sure. I do have the tool, I can pop that off and get to it. Um, but interesting, okay. Um, other things to note. Not much to note. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get diagnosed some thingies. Um, I wanna pull the spark plug, stick my boroscope down in there and just see what we got to work with. Well, that's not good. We're already off to a Bad start would seem like somebody's already been in here. Ugh. 
Nah, I like it. I see barnacles, merman. Yeah, we got some barnacles. In case you guys have never seen one before, this is what's called a boroscope. Just a little camera you can stick down in the cylinder. And this is a good idea for what's going on in there. Screw that on. See, this is just a little camera end here. Go ahead, kick that on. I've got a little light on the end so you can see. I'm just gonna pop that down in there. Take a look around. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna take some pictures for y'all. Shift off this side here. Um, we're not looking too good. I don't know if you can see that there, but yikes. Okay. Take a picture of that. Oh, brother. Yeah, valve's cracked open. All right, so we're already off to kind of a bad start here. We got rust in the cylinder, a bit of a problem. You know, it's better in the other Fury where it dropped a valve and everything's grenaded in there, like bits and pieces that exploded. So, what are we gonna do about this? Um, I've heard about a lot of things working on this and there's one thing that I've always wanted to try. And I've actually never had the chance to do it and this bike is the perfect opportunity to try it, is marble mystery oil. So let's get some marble and mystery oil, pour it down the cylinder and we're gonna give it just a little bit of time to set in there and hopefully break things loose. Well, I have been looking for the perfect opportunity to try this stuff and here's what we got. I've seen a lot of people use this over the years to break free a rusty cylinder. Um, I've never tried it, so we're gonna give it a go. It looks like now we're full. Cool. And now we do what all good men have to do at some point, and that's hurry up and wait. One eternity later. Here we are, back after the whole day later. Hopefully this thing. We'll break free and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this motor spinning. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, it moved a little bit. Try to get our way with it. <clears throat> there we go. Right on. I can hear it moving around in there. Yeah, it's still tight. Well, this is a good way to go. Oh man, do I want to do this or? So, right there is TDC, top dead center. We're really close. We're really close. Here, I'm gonna let some of that stuff bleed off. What's in there tight? Nope, I think all right, it's spinning. Um, I don't wanna make a big mess doing this, but I'm just gonna spin this on out. Okay, marble mystery oil. Get a little rag here. Rag time, there we go. Been. Ooh, it's definitely doing something. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, definitely making a mess. <laughs> Get a few more of these, cram them down in there. Oh, there we go, we blew past it. <sighs> cool. All right, cool. So we got this thing kicking over all the way. We're getting full revolutions. Let's see? It's 
seems pretty good, um, but there's no guarantee that we have any compression yet, so let's go ahead and check for compression. No, dang, darn, darn, dang it. I don't even have like anything there. Huh, okay, I guess the top end's coming off. We just cracked it open. Here we go. That is looking really crusty. Not good. We'll go ahead and lap those in. I'm trying to get this running without spending any real money on it. Here we go. Here we go. We got that. That can come out. Your cylinder. I uh, may need to give it a whack. Uh, of course, I did that. Oh, yeah, we're coming. Check that down. There we go. We're coming. We're coming. Ha, huh, we got it. Oh boy. All right, as you can tell, we're over here on my workbench and the cylinder is all crusty, musty, and rusty. Um, we need to work on that. Got the piston, piston rings are stuck, and we need to work on this. So um, what I'm gonna do is actually heat this piston and then hit it with some penetrating oil in order to break these rings free. Um, you know, thermal expansion, this piston, it's aluminum. It should expand quicker than the steel rings, so it should make these steel rings loose again. And uh, with the penetrating oil, it should soak in and, you know, really break them free. So we're going to do that with this. But for now, let's work on uh, humming out the cylinder. All right, got that all honed out. I don't want to go too big with it. Um, you can see there is some discoloration of the metal. Um, do I think this will work? I do think it will work. Um, is it gonna last forever? No, it's not gonna last forever. There is some pitting up here, um, but it's just kinda how things go sometimes, but I think this will work just fine. Also, since we're in this deep, it's uh, gonna be a thing. We need to pull out these valves and just make sure that they're seating. We're gonna give them a quick lap. 
clean all that up and hopefully uh, these will work for us as well. Alright, so here is where we are at. You can see there's a lot of sludge on this one. I'm going to go ahead and hit that and that with a wire wheel. And we're going to see where we get. Took care of the head, got the valves all ground down, cleaned up. Um, did check, put a little gas down these little cylinders. Intake seems to leak just a tiny bit. Um, you put water down there, water won't go through, um, which water has a bigger molecule than gasoline. Uh, so that's great. Exhaust valve seals up perfectly, which is what we need. This, I think, will work. All right, I'm just gonna let you know right now, getting these piston rings loose was a absolute nightmare. Uh, yeah, it's not the best solution. So this top one came out, this lower one, uh, we're missing a chunk. So probably not gonna run the best, but we'll see. We'll, we'll give it a go, see how it runs like this. I'm uh, assuming this is gonna be named Little Smokey because yeah, not, not that good. Okay, here we are again. We got our compression tester right here. We're gonna go ahead, compression check this bike, see if we have anything. Uh, as you remember, before, no compression at all. Let's give it a few whacks. Well, it feels better. Oh, uh, brother. Oh, uh, brother. See what we got. So uh, it looks like we're probably right in about 65, maybe 70 pounds of pressure. So it's better. But is it what we need to run? No. It's not what we need to run. Well, bugger. Well, at least while we're here, we can check spark. Got a spark plug. No spark. We got some problems. Alright, so of course now I got things pulled apart, but I've been checking over things. And uh, I think we are missing a few parts. I kind of depend on doing some research on this. Yeah, we're missing a CDI box and a wiring harness. The fact that everything was hooked up tells me the reason this is probably parked was because the previous guy, he had tried getting spark, he plugged everything together, he thought he may have got a run in, but it was actually missing pieces. So, we're missing parts. I don't see anywhere on this bike for a CDI box. Uh, I'm gonna assume everything's in place because we do have a kill switch here. Everything seems to be hooked up. I'm assuming if there is a CDI box or something like that on here. Well, what can I say? It happens so this is probably gonna be part one of this I didn't get running in this video I'm sorry guys sorry I can only do so much 
Maybe next video I have it going. If not, I don't know. There probably is going to be a few videos in between that. But this is part one. Check out my channel for part two. If you're brand new here, please check out, subscribe, do that sort of stuff. And hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace, guys.